tucked away inside my home This rolling stone has found a rock to call his friend And if you wonder where my heart is When I'm out on the road Lord, it's right at home I left it, honey, just for you to hold And if you wonder how I'm doing Know that I am doing fine But I wish I was in Virginia On the Russell County line Hey everyone, welcome to the Barn Podcast here in Farmington, Missouri. Have Austin with me. Hey Austin, how's it going, man? Doing good, Chad. How are you? Doing real good. Hey, we got a special guest online right now. We have Isaac from 49 Winchester. How's it going, Isaac? What's up, man? Going great. How are you boys? You guys aren't out on the road right now, right? You're getting ready to be pretty soon? Right, right. I'm, I'm at home right now for a couple of days and we got a little run of shows in Kentucky and then another couple of days off and then we're out on the road for the summer with Whiskey Myers. That's That's exciting. I'm guessing that's maybe your biggest tour that you guys have been on so far. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is a huge, a huge thing for us. We're we're honored to be a part of it, man. It's 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 a big deal. We played with them once before at Mission Ballroom in Denver, and their crowd really digs what we do. So we're we're really looking forward to getting in front of those people, man. It's gonna be a great summer. I can believe that because I'm their crowd and I love what you do. So that was an exciting pairing for me. And Shane Smith too. I mean, that's just an all star cast you guys got. Yeah, man, they're 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 fantastic too. It's 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 gonna be a, a good show, man. It's it's killer. It's a great bill. I think it's uh it's three bands that really complement each other well. It's a cool lineup, top to bottom, man. It'll it'll be it'll be rock and roll. So we're in the southeast Missouri area. There's actually a show that you guys have on your tour as well, coming through Camdenton, Missouri, at the Ozarks Amphitheater. Have you played there yet? I have not. So that's kind of like the redneck Ozarks version of Red Rocks. <laughs> love it. <laughs> it's absolutely not- love it. It's not quite as scenic as Red Rocks, <laughs> but it's kind of our hillbilly version of that. I think you guys awesome. will really dig that show, though. Cool. Yeah, man, it's, it's going to be a blast. A lot of these places on this tour are, you know, outdoor amphitheater type of places. So, yeah, man, it'll, it'll, it'll be awesome. Looking forward to it. That amphitheater is real cool, but I think they missed such a big opportunity for it to be waterfront out there on the lake because the Ozarks is right. the Midwest's gem as far as recreational lakes go. Yeah, but, for sure. I mean, the property is where it's at, but I actually have only ever been there once. I frequent the lake. I've been to the amphitheater once, and it was last year in June to see Whiskey Myers, of all people, open for Jamie Johnson. So nice. to come back this year... It, even last year, as much as I like Jamie, I thought, man, I wish Whiskey was opening this tour. Uh, you know, I just I didn't get enough of them, and I have a damn good feeling that's exactly how I'm going to feel this year, where you guys are going to play your set, and I'm going to be like, <laughs> oh, give me more. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing, though, man. That's a that's that's kind of an advantageous place to be. I mean, as a you know, th- there's pros and cons, I guess, to being the open and act on a bill, but in this scenario, man, we get to go out there and play, you know, 30, 40 minutes of our just the heat you know what i mean it's gonna be it's gonna be badass and i think that area specifically i think it'll make you feel like home a little bit because you guys are from castlewood virginia is that right yes sir you said you're at home right now so is that where you where you are or do you live in nashville or where are you at? yeah yeah no i'm i still live here here in town here not far from the old home place i'm just a couple of miles from where i grew up me and my girlfriend have got a little pad here in castlewood man it's cool we we uh it, it's nice to be a, a musician in a time when you don't have to live in Nashville or L.A. or New York City to, to get a music career going. One of your singles is, uh, you know, it looked like it was film in your hometown, Russell County Line. Was that cool to be able to do that to kind of put your own hometown on, on a major spotlight or on a national yeah, spotlight? Yeah, man. yeah, for sure. Absolutely. It's, you know, it's a little bitty town uh, just kind of in the coal fields of Appalachia. There's uh, I don't know that there's really ever been anybody from here that's doing quite what we're doing. So it's cool to be able to get that support from this hometown crowd not just immediately here but all of southwest virginia seems to kind of have latched onto that song you know what i mean and i love that song man and uh you know I, I was watching the video several times and i bet that's one you didn't need a whole lot of permits for right <laughs> your, definitely not your neighbor or whatever be like yeah come. it was all neighbors it was all neighbors and just public spots there in town you know uh the, all the river shots there's a there's a wide spot on the Clinch River, which is where I grew up. I grew up kind of on the banks of the river. I could throw a rock out of the window, out of my bedroom window into that river. Yeah, there's this spot that we've always called the baptizing hole. That's where a lot of the those uh, river shots with the drone were, were done. Yeah, it was all just spots here around my house, man. And that's where the name 49 Winchester came from, right? It was an address of your parents' yeah. house or where you grew yeah, up? Yeah, that was where I grew up, 49 Winchester, man. That was that was the that was the address of where everything, the kind of genesis of the whole band took place there. Me and Chase... 
we grew up there next door neighbors known each other since way way back when you know before we even could speak i would say i've known <laughs> chase but yeah man that's that's home is that important to you guys to be able to represent in that way like i said on a national stage to where you know your band name is even named after your whole hometown and you have songs named after it and then your video i guess i'm guessing that's important to you guys yeah it is i mean that's something we take take pride in you know what i mean and i think part of it is because it's something that not a lot of people have done from here you know what i mean it's a it's kind of a a hard place to get a music career off the ground to a degree but we wouldn't have had it any other way man this this place is what makes us who we are you know yeah so i gotta ask you how's the fishing in that clinch river killer at times yeah. there's been a couple of big major fish kills over the last few decades but it's a uh, it's it's a recovering river still pretty good smallmouth fishing still uh the, the musky population is pretty decent as you get down down river of the house a little bit uh there's even starting to get get to be some really good walleye fishing in the river now so yeah man it's it's a killer little river but you threw a line or two in there growing up that many close many, to many. <laughs> yeah if i'm not playing music i'm usually hunting or fishing did you guys float the river too or was it just kind of a wade both both we we a lot of times would, would float spot to spot and then get out and wet wade and hit it that way but yeah man spent a whole lot of time in that river that it's it's a part of me for sure and you guys have a new album out fortune favors the bold i love that title there's also a song on the album the song actually was the song came way before the album the song is actually probably before 49.3 came out it just never did make a record uh it was one of those songs that i kind of had a there was one spot in the song that I sort of had writer's block on that literally lasted years. And I just kind of cast it aside. And it was one of those that just sort of stayed in the back of my mind with dust gathering on it. And we, we got it out and sort of retooled it when we were making the record, sort of just tossing it around, sharing ideas with the guys. Uh, and it turned into what it did. And we thought, man, the title's perfect for an album title. I mean, that's that's got to be the title track. It just kind of wraps up everything that we're all about and everything we're doing right now, which is you know, getting after it and hustling and being bold and what we're doing. What I love so much about that track is that it's it, it's so upbeat and catchy without losing the lyrical value that so many of your songs have. And I find sometimes it, it, it's one or the other. But there's one lyric in there. It goes, every dog has its day. Mine is on the 13th on a Friday. And did that line become before you decided it was dropping on Friday, May 13th? Yeah. Or was that just a coincidence? That was a total coincidence. I didn't even know that that was... <laughs> no way. I mean, we had, we, had the album, we had the album show date planned and everything for weeks. And Derek, I think, from New West was the first one that pointed it out to me. He's like, you realize what Friday is, don't you? <laughs> so I like, well i mean it wasn't that friday it wasn't that week but maybe a month before he was like man you realize that's friday the 13th right well and, and did like, you oh. play it off like oh yeah of course i noticed <laughs> no, I <didn't>. <laughs> knew <laughs> it all along floored i was jaw my jaw hit the floor man i was like oh it's just meant to be it's perfect it was cool at the album release show that night in bristol which is sort of you know our hometown we sort of tell everybody we're from if they don't know where castlewood is, is which nobody does we have to tell people we're from bristol or oh, johnson city one of the two yeah when we when we played that tune and that line came around in the song the whole place just exploded it was cool you know i'm a fan of songs about being on the road you know you think about turn the page with bob seeger and even yeah man you know some of those songs that they make the road seem you know not quite as attractive as as a fan might think it is but your song all i need is a road song it's the other side of the coin you know what i mean it's always a pro pro and con kind of give and take yin and yang kind of thing when you're out on the road once you're gone more than a few days you just inevitably miss home and the people that you have at home and the pets at home but out here on the road is where we get to do what we love the most and that's touring man playing music live in front of faces and that's that's what drives us and that's what gets us out of bed in the morning more than anything and it always will be uh, we're a live band that's what we love so i mean there's there's no there's nowhere that that takes place except out and about and, and we 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 really uh, value our time at home, but as much as we do, man, it's uh, we love being out on the road together, man. This this band was really tight, cohesive unit. We're all best friends. It's more like family than than a band, and uh, there's no place we'd rather be, really. Do you do a lot of your writing when you're on the road? Some, yeah, more more now than I used to, but I guess that's just a consequence of being on the road more often than I used to. Now that things are, you know, full swing, and we're all doing this for a living now. And, tour and was back in you know full effect after covid and this and that but yeah i mean a lot of it a lot of it gets done on the road a lot of it uh the songs usually the way i write songs is kind of a, a funky thing anyway they just sort of they just sort of hit me like a bolt of lightning most of the time and that, that mm -hmm. often happens in the van 
you know, some songwriters, you talk to them and they're like, yeah, I need to write every day or I need to write a couple sure. times a week. You seem like the opposite of that, where you just wait for the song to hit you or come to you. Yeah, I've always done that, man. I don't know why. It's just that's what seems to work for me. I got a really short attention span and to sit down and, and, and decide that I'm going to write for an hour is just never how my creativity has, has flowed. You know what I mean? It's always been better for me to sort of take things as they come feel things as they as they come to me and 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 turn it into a song that way we ask this quite a bit but is there like a modern song that you wish you have written oh man that is a great question and one that i'm gonna have to have some time to think about <laughs> we'll get get back to this on that one we'll tweet it All out right. I guess. yeah and we put the modern twist on it because i think it's you know easy to come up with some of the some of the old country guys sure. like yeah i wish oh, yeah. I, I wish i wrote sunday morning coming down or yeah you know. for sure Something like that, but yeah, we always kind of man. The modern guy. I, well, I tell you, there's uh, the most beautiful song I ever heard. I think is Lucas Nelson's song. It helped me forget about Georgia when we were at Bear Shadow and we watched him play after our set. It was just life alteringly good. That song, that performance of that song was. It was just unbelievable. So that one right there, I guess, would be my pick. Yeah, that's a good one. Man, yeah. he's a cool artist. It, it, you know, the first time I heard him, I remember saying, you know, if this guy's name was anything else. My first thought would have been, is this guy related to Willie? Is this Willie's son? <laughs> yeah. It just yeah. immediately, yeah. It, you hear yeah. it. You hear it. You do. It's cool that it's not exact. It's cool that it's not a clone. You know what I mean? Like It doesn't feel like a gimmick right. or a tribute act or anything. Like he's Lucas is definitely doing his own thing, and he's a world-class singer. But there's this tone and this thing that he has in his voice that's so reminiscent of like young Willie. You know yeah. what I mean? It's killer. As a band leader and the main songwriter in the band, does that come with an extra set of pressure? No, that's what I, I mean. That's just the way it's always been. That's all I know. You know what I mean? Like this, this is the only band I've ever been in. I started it when we, as soon as we finished high school, we've been doing this. There's really nothing else that I know. It's just always sort of been my place to. I've always been the songwriter. I've written all of our songs. I've written most of our music in terms of progression and structure and things like that. I usually give give the guys kind of a an almost finished song, and and then we start thinking parts i let the guys flesh out their parts independently and throw their own spin and twist on stuff which is i think what's what's kept us uh unique you know what i mean keep it keeps us doing something different and something that's maybe a little bit against the grain and that's a cool thing so no i don't think there's really any extra pressure it's just uh it comes with the territory and it's it's part of being a band leader and that uh, i love it that way that's the only way we've ever really been able to do it the only way we've done it it's 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 worked for us so far and if it ain't broke don't fix it you know what i mean (laughs) <laughs> Absolutely. We are joined here by Isaac from 49 Winchester. Uh, we're going to, me and uh, Austin here and the Barn Podcast, we're going to be seeing you June 9th in St. Louis at St. Louis Music Park, another great venue, by the way. And then June 10th in Camdenton, Camdenton, Missouri at the Ozarks Amphitheater. We're excited for those. We're excited for this new album. When I listen to a lot of your stuff, it gives me um, sort of a Marcus King vibe. Do you guys get that comparison quite a bit? Yeah, I mean, it's a comparison that I guess sort of comparison i love to hear because i love marcus and i love his music but <laughs> no not really not not very often but i i get that because there's a soulful thing there's a uh there's a thing that, that that plays back to old soul music and old r&b and stuff that we do so yeah man that's cool i'm glad to hear i'm glad to hear that comparison i'll take that what is a comparison that you've gotten before if not marcus king the big one i guess with the kind of raspy loud voice and the beard and the cowboy hat <laughs> you you know early on especially it was man you sound like Chris Stapleton, which I don't really, I don't really think I do. But I guess if you're going to sound like anybody, sounding like Marcus King or Chris Stapleton is a pretty good way to go in my book. Yeah, you'll take those, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll take them all day. For what it's worth, I don't know that I would have gone that direction either. But I can't imagine a more flattering comparison than yeah. Chris Stapleton. Hey, you yeah, I mean, somebody, sound somebody like Chris tells Stapleton. You, somebody tells you that you sound like the best singer in country music. That's a pretty. Uh, I'll take it. Well, and I heard an interview once with the man out of Michigan called Greater Van Fleet. Are you familiar? Yeah, yeah. Just like you're saying Stapleton here, and it's an honor. They, in this interview, got a comparison to Led Zeppelin. And they they said, oh, no, no, we're not trying to, I don't think we sound like them at all. And I'm thinking, did you really just see the opportunity <laughs> to be compared to the greatest yeah. rock band of all time? And say, ah, no, yeah. thanks. No, not really. <laughs> yeah, but they, yeah. they really sound like Zeppelin. It, that's the funniest part is yeah. like, it's so clearly that's who you are. That's yeah. why you're successful because people have that There's nostalgia. There's definitely a strong, strong influence there, I think. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's, that's definitely hearable. One of the things I like about Fortune Favors, The Bold, your new record that just came out a little bit 
little bit ago is it's just to me it's the perfect mix of classic country some rock and some singer songwriter if i had to guess i don't know your influences but if i had to guess it's probably a little bit of all that and with some soul in there as well for sure i think that's a cool thing about this band is that our influences come from all over the place and each of us individually have a very broad and diverse kind of range of music that we love i love soul i love i love r&b i love funk I love country. I love Southern rock. 90% of the time, if I'm going down the road, there's this classic rock station that that comes in here uh, in Castlewood fairly well out of Johnson City, Tennessee. Uh. That's always been the that's been the go to since I was a kid. Always in my parents' vehicles or in you know in my vehicle as I got old enough to drive. Uh, it's one of the few stations that's not a specific country station that we even get around here. So there was a whole lot of one. Of, there was a whole lot of that classic rock kind of stuff going on. Uh, in my life as a kid uh, that I didn't really latch onto and want to play until I got serious about music really in high school. Uh, but, you know, before that, even as a kid, you know, I loved hip hop. Uh, I love, we're all, we all went through a, a long metal head phase at some point in our lives. Oh, yeah. So we've got that, you know, so we, we, we it's, it's cool, man. We're, we're, uh, we're open to a lot of different things and we've never tried to, to force ourselves to fit in any one genre and any one thing we we're, we're playing the music that resonates with us and that makes sense in our hearts and in our minds and uh that's that's all we're doing man we're, we've we've uh that we've been pretty steadfast in that in that mission to stay uh genuine to what what got us here in the first place when we talk about soul i think about songs like neon and then definitely you know damn darling you know and i know that was filmed at the exit Inn in nashville yeah man that was that was fun uh thomas crabtree shot that music video He's top notch. Everything he did was that was our first music video experience, too. So it was like we, we didn't know what to even expect, really, when we got to Nashville that day. We just knew we were going to the exit in because it was the perfect place to shoot the, the video for the song because of the, the reference and the lyric. And we, we, we knew that it was going to be with Thomas. So we were in good hands. It wound up being killer, man. It, I, I'm really proud of the way it turned out. Uh, it's a cool video and, uh, you know, no better place to have done it, especially having released the video and then a couple of weeks later was our, our our return to nashville at the exit end so it was it was a cool time we are joined here by isaac from 49 winchester we want to shout out danielle from victory lap media she's the one that kind of put us in contact with you and we appreciate her and appreciate you joining us today we are going to be seeing you june 9th in st louis with whiskey myers and shane smith that's a man that's a heck of a bill isn't it we're gonna have a good time on that one Cannot wait. Yeah. You'll be at St. Louis Music Park in St. Louis, Missouri on June 9th. And then also we're going to hit that Camdenton show at Ozarks Amphitheater June 10th, the next night down in Camdenton, down in the Ozarks. Check out 49 Winchester at 49winchester.com and their new album. You can find it wherever music's available, right? Yeah, man. Isaac, we appreciate your time today, bud. Absolutely, man. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate you guys. Thanks again. I have traveled such a distance Just to see the smile that's on your face And I have traveled far and wide And I have died and lived and flown through time and space And the most familiar happiness I've ever known is here with me again Tucked away inside my home, this rolling stone has found a rock to call his friend. And if you wonder where my heart is, when I'm out on the road, Lord, it's right at home, I left it, honey, just for you to hold. And if you wonder how I'm doing, know that I am doing fine, but I wish I was in Virginia on the Russell County line. Captivated by your beauty I look at you and see the one I love Reunited in this tomb Where our pride died and was buried
buried from above And in that dirt was planted seeds of hope From them grew the flowers of our lives All our favorite little things that true love brings All the times we laughed and cried And if you wonder where my heart is When I'm out on the road, Lord, it's right at home I left it, honey, just for you to hold And if you wonder how I'm doing, know that I am doing fine But I wish I was in Virginia on the Russell County line 